So today we are going to to see one of the most uh, compelling reports from Europe. This is a report from the Basque Country, uh, northwestern Spain, Pyrenees, a couple of years ago. And I've been there, I've been at the place, so I will share with you guys what I found out. So we are at Irun, uh, País Basco, uh, from Spain, where the sighting of the photo, where a guy and his daughter photographed what appears to be an ape man climbing or, or going downhill a cliff of a mountain. So we are near the place, but more at the bottom of the mountain and you can see for us for yourselves so in basque mythology the, the sasquatch is called the bazahaun and they they also have a name for the female the bazander and it's described as being a huge airy hominid dwelling in the woods uh, they were taught to build the megaliths, protect the flocks of livestock, and teach skills such as agriculture and iron work and iron working to humans. Um, far from being aggressive, the the Bazahaun were protective. So they, they, they protect the sheep flocks and they indicated their presence with um, with with sounds, with with, uh, with with shrieks and with with uh, loud uh, screams. And when storms or wolves uh, approach the, the the flocks, so that's how people and the, the mythology in the Basque uh, region, in the north uh, eastern Spain, describe them. You guys can see the rocks inside, as usual. Only a toddler, like two, three years old, would manage to to go down there. It's very small, very bushy. We are hearing a crow or a Sasquatch screaming. Difficult to tell. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's a crow. Carrion crow. So at least three structures in this area with the smaller one and the other one on the other side. So four big ones and one small. Another one here. And here's some some cattle down there. I don't know if there are there are horses with a, with a bell or just or cows. 
we have seen plenty of horses on the road they run free so I will read the report from the cryptozoology blog from Javier Rezins that I will I will put the link on the description from the original uh, report and where you can find the photos also the story happened in April 5, 2011, 2011. The place Articuza um, has an extens extensive and rugged wood area near the place of I Irun. Irun it's, it's, uh, it's a famous place because it's where most people at the north cross the border between uh, Spain and France. So the witness, Hossan, and his 14-year-old daughter take advantage of a day off to go on a tour to the area. After passing the top of the Biandits, they take the path of the three crown legs. It's, it's from a, it's a structure, it's, it's generally a round structure uh, known uh, from the megalith past that leads to Erenga. Erenga is a place nearby. At the moment they hear some loud whistling and about 20, 200 meters away they see something moving towards Peñas, Peñas Erenga that catches their attention. At first they think it is a dog, a person, a monkey or even a bear despite having this, those bears have disappeared from the, the area century ago. So the bears are found in the Pyrenees but not quite often in these north in the northwestern area near the near the um, near the sea, witnesses see a man covered in hair all over, wearing a kind of a, a fur poncho, poncho, and running at uh, incredible speed up the mountain. So it, it was going uphill, running, while emitting loud whistles. These sounds, long and sustained, seem to be answered from a nearby peak and also from a nearby forest. There's a nearby forest very, to to the bottom where I have been. And there are also a few peaks above uh, where the guy was standing and taking the photo, and also some some other peaks in the front in front of him. According to the to the testimony, they did not appear to be echoes, so they thought that they were uh, on the, some other creatures, some other bazahauns or bigfoots could be answering from the that for, forest nearby and from above from another peak. Father and daughter, they also noticed that a strong smell, like, like a cow, cow smell, you know, in the area, a smell that persisted for half an hour. The animal, or whatever it was, ran for a minute or two up the dangerous and steep place until it disappeared from view because of the steepness of the terrain. And I can tell you, it is very steep. Bazahaun, human, a bear, uh, Hossan was able to take several photographs and his mobile phone, with his mobile phone, of which sh we show you some, some of that. So I'm, I'm, I'm reading from the blog. I read to you the, the actual report. It's translated to English. I translated to English. Google translated to English to be, to be more precise, so it's not as good. And because the original report is in is in Spanish, we didn't miss anything. So everything was there. The creature was going up, emitting some some very loud noises. As you can see, the photos. I inverted the photos because the photos on the blog they are not correct. Uh, so they were inverted at, at the first place so the inverted photo that I show you in the beginning and, and from now on it's the correct it's the correct area it's the correct photo okay so we are reaching the place there were those pines I think now, if you guys can see there's a big cave a big cave up there. Yeah. The 
pines and I think the Sasquatch was probably on that rock or that one going up you see the caves up there there's another cave there amazing oh I would love to see that cave as you guys can see the cave up there there's another cave there and I think the Bigfoot was one of those rocks up there but as you can see Comparing with uh, the big oaks and the pines, the Bigfoot must have been gigantic, is what I can say. So we are going to compare it with the photo on the blog, with the creature, with the photo that I've took at the place with the pines. As you can see, the pines are huge up there. The, this photo is from up there. And we are going to take a f to take a photo from from me near a pine stand. They are going to cut it, and as you can see, uh, my width is the width of the pine, so about one and a half feet, fifty centimeters. So I'm going to use this photo, downsize it to the photo of the creature near one of the biggest pines that are there. And as you can see, my width is the width of the pine. I choose one of the biggest pines. And remember, I'm the, the creature is beyond the place that I'm, I'm, I'm putting myself. So I'm going to use the, the photo of the, of the Pasajaun, the creature. And I'm going to, I'm going to copy it right next to me for you guys to see how much bigger the creature was and remember it, it's at least a couple of hundred feet uh, far away from the place I'm standing so it, it should be bigger it should be bigger but I'm, I'm going to use it at this size so it's the so the final size would be the minimal size of the creature and would be gigantic so as you can see I'm right next to right next to the pine I'm and now I'm going to copy the the Sasquatch right next to me and right next to the trunk of that black pine up there so as you can see as you remember of the photo the 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 the, the Bigfoot the, the the Sasquatch was a little bit crunched over with his arms all, uh, hanged on his on his knee, so he is not straight as me. I on my photo, I am I am I am straight, and as as you can see, I I, I measure six six point eight uh, five five point eight feet, and the the Sasquatch would be seven point seven point eight feet. So two two hundred and thirty nine centimeters. If he was he is crunched over, so um, he he most likely is around eight feet tall. Most likely eight feet tall, at least. Remember, I'm I put myself on a pine one hundred meters, a couple of yards uh, closer to the to the guy that took the photo. So the 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 Sasquatch was. A, hundred, a couple of a couple of a couple of feet, a couple of yards far. So it would have been bigger if it if he was standing near that pine. So I hope you like it. See you guys on the next video.